this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog! And this time I have a special episode for you guys! Now, normally when I would do a little bonus episode in the Muppet Vlogs, I would usually look into something that happened before the Muppet Show came in. So, last time I checked out the pitch reel, and then I checked out the two pilots that would ultimately become the Muppet Show. But with this one, however, this is going to be something that was created during The Muppet Show. And what I'm talking about is a documentary called Of Muppets and Men, which is a 52-minute special documentary that looks into the entire making of The Muppet Show. So it pretty much chronicles how is it that Jim Henson and his crew would go and create a regular episode of The Muppet Show, and it looks into every single process, along with highlighting some of the people that are featured in it. And I think the biggest thing that I could say about it is that once you watch it, it would probably give you a brand new appreciation to The Muppet Show, and it makes you think about things that you normally don't expect, or like you don't even realize the amount of effort that they have to put into, uh, not like in every single aspect of the Muppet Show. I mean, yes, like we all can recognize the puppetry and also the musical numbers and the use of celebrity guest stars, but then there are also the smaller elements that are there, but we don't immediately notice. Like, for example, when I was watching it, one of the things that really fascinated me and made me realize, like, oh yeah, this is actually a thing and it's actually pretty amazing what they have done, uh, it's actually two things. One is the music. Now, of course, considering that this is a variety show set in a theater, like, the music is actually pretty much everywhere. But you don't realize the reality about the effort that an entire orchestra had to do in order to put on The Muppet Show. Like, yes, we do see The Muppets performing it, but we don't realize about the real people actually playing it, and music actually is a major part in it, and, like, they have done a pretty amazing job in there. And another thing that made me realize that, yeah, it, it is actually a pretty big deal, it's actually the sets. Now, this could probably be the most sought-after element in The Muppet Show, considering that, yeah, they always put up different sets here and there, but from what I saw, it, it actually is pretty amazing that um, it, it suddenly sparked in my mind, like, oh my god, that is true that they would go and, like, pull off these amazing sets. Rather, it would be more country-themed, or, like, something like Pigs in Space, or Veterinarian's Hospital, or any of those numbers. Like, the sets actually do play a big part to really capture the environment, and the amount of effort that they put in, once again, it's just truly phenomenal, and, like, that's kind of the big picture that I'm trying to put in, is that it does make you think about every single element that goes into The Muppet Show, and gives you a new realization, it's like, oh my god, that is true that, like, people had to put in so much effort into. And another thing I would like to add is that, of course, it would talk about the elements that you would be expecting. Like, number one, the biggest thing would probably be the puppetry. Like, uh, what, what it has to take in order to go and perform in the Muppet Show and stuff like that. And it's not like immediately, like, if you're able to just, like, pick up a puppet and just make it move like this, no, nah, it, it's more complicated like that. Well, m more complicated than that is what I mean. Um, what I'm trying to say is basically what Jim Henson would normally do is that uh, he would put some of the newer members to put them in training before eventually making them bigger stars. Like, for some people, like uh, Jerry Joel's, or Dave Goels, like, sometimes they would have to put in a little bit more training before eventually playing a massive role into the show. Um, and often, also, that's another interesting thing that they did, was that they did highlight a lot of the major puppeteers, uh, not just, uh, D like, Dave Goels and uh, more, but also uh, they would highlight Richard Hunt, they especially highlighted Frank Oz, they highlighted Jim Henson, and even some of the people like the singers 
and um, like just the performers and even the way that they would have to do it where with many of the musical numbers it's not like they would go immediately sing it on set they would have to do it backstage where they have to play it with the music and then once the puppetry would come in and they would have to pull off a performance it would have to be uh, lip synced like they got like they already have a soundtrack they already got the audio going but now they have to have the visuals to work with it and sometimes working like trying to do lip sync with puppets is not necessarily an easy thing like like it depends what you could say about lip syncing in general but doing it with puppets and, stu and stuff like that to actually make a credible performance out of it can be a bit pretty difficult and uh, also, another thing that they talked about that is very fascinating is actually the relationship that the crew would have with the special guest stars. Basically, the whole thing with The Muppet Show at the time was that for celebrities, it was an excuse for them to go out and actually do whatever they wish that normally, uh, in their careers, they wouldn't like they, they wouldn't end up actually doing like someone who would always be taken seriously or someone who's all always known for a specific genre like uh, a great example would be vincent price like for him the muppet show would be like a perfect opportunity to do something that's absolutely goofy absolutely off the wall something in which you would never see him in that kind of role like you never see vincent price inside like this a wacky comedy or something like that so with the Muppet show it gave him the perfect opportunity to do so and even with the special guest stars a lot of work has to be put into it one thing the celebrity has to do is the choreography where they have to spend a few days to learn a few dance lessons to know what to do and then when showtime comes they can actually go and perform it since uh, it is true that with many different uh, performances, with many different episodes, there are a lot of them in which the performer has to go and dance. And they would even highlight uh, not just the choreography with the special guest star, but also a lot of the Muppets that are dancers, where you would see a lot of full body Muppets who are just dancing around. Um, and, and, and it is actually very interesting, like, they actually bring up a really good example where they use the Raquel Welsh episode where she would be dancing with the spider. Now, that's actually one episode where, like, she doesn't have to, she, she's not just singing, but she's also dancing, and she also has a partner to dance with. So, um, yeah, it, it really gets down to that aspect, but on top of that, they even, uh, went down to many of the other things as well where they would go into the practical effects or just the effects in general where they would use a lot of trick photography or like a lot of crazy work has to be put in in order to go and uh, make these crazy effects rather it be just uh, whenever they would fling things everywhere like when they would just fling an entire Muppet or like they would throw something at the Muppet like, it's something that they have to think about, and it ends up being such a grand project that often, when they have to go off the wall, they have to really think about the ways that they have to go and execute it. And, um, yeah, I would say that overall, this is a very, very fascinating documentary. And just by looking at it, like, I only scratched the surface, honestly, of what's actually contained in here. And, you know, honestly, after watching it, I feel like right now that, like, just watching The Muppet Show, I feel like it's probably no different than how it is in real life. Like, what you see on camera, it's a bit exactly the same than how it is in real life. The only difference is that instead of Muppets is actually with real people. And this really does give you this brand new appreciation for what Jim Henson and his crew has to do with it. And you could definitely tell that they are equivalently having fun um, as much as they are working very hard in order to pull off this show. It really is fascinating. And um, again, I've only scratched the surface of what this documentary talked about. I mean, there are plenty of other things like uh, the writing and also the performance uh, the, of the puppeteers themselves and also the fabrication of the puppeteering. Oh, well, the fabrication of the puppets where... 
like when when they have to think about all these crazy ideas of what they want to do with the uh, the puppet themselves uh they have to really think their hardest in order to really come out with something amazing and also creative as well so this is my biggest recommendation for anybody who is a, a massive fan of The Muppet Show or is a fan of Jim Henson, but on top of that, uh, I think this is also a must-watch documentary for anyone who is interested in puppetry. Like, if you are interested in that kind of field, then this is absolutely worth watching considering that this is a pretty innovative show in terms of um, puppets on television. Like, it brings in uh, like this new life that really kind of changed the way television pretty much is today. So uh, definitely a fascinating documentary and I really am glad that I saw it. And as for where you can find it, like uh, luckily there is actually a clip on you, like there are like uh, separated segments on YouTube that you can go and search out. But if you want to go and find it legally, uh, they say that you can actually get it either on VHS or you can actually get it on DVD as a bonus feature from The Very Best of The Muppet Show Volume 1. But interestingly enough, there is actually another thing that is worth mentioning is that uh, there's actually of uh, a book of, of Muppets and Men where it actually documents like pretty much the making of an entire episode of The Muppet Show where they use the Linda Ronstadt episode as an example. But then again, I heard that thing is actually very, very rare to find, so... Uh, chances are it's probably best for now to just stick with what you can find on YouTube or if you want to go actually own it then uh, I would say your best bet would be just go on Amazon or go on eBay for the very best of the Muppet Show volume 1. But anyways that is pretty much it for this uh, bonus episode so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I will soon go back to be uh, I I'm gonna go back to watch the regular episodes of The Muppet Show, but with a brand new a brand new perspective because of this. So, uh, let's see how it goes next time. So, see you later, dudes!